Hi, welcome back to my limited view. I wanted to share with you something that happened to me today. Now, a little backstory. My kindergarten teacher wrote in my report card, Sergio is very observant. You have to keep an eye on him. Sometimes that has helped me out a lot because I get to see things that most people just don't notice. At other times, it's gotten me in trouble because people interpret my pointing things out as a flaw to them. In addition to running my business, I do some consultant work around the Bay Area. And today I went to one of the establishments I work with and I pointed out to the person in charge that something had not been fixed yet. And when I mentioned this to her, she said, oh, you're the only person that complains about it. So she interpreted me pointing this out to her as a negative. And I realized she has a choice, just like we all have a choice. We can choose to take that information and be thankful that we're receiving it. One, you could be thankful that this person is make informing you of something that you may not be aware of. When you see this person next time, you're gonna think positively of them because of what they've contributed. Also, this person is letting you know that they care about what they're doing. They're actually paying attention and noticing there is something wrong and they wanna be able to provide a solution. You as the boss, you can't possibly be everywhere. So to know that you have a team behind you that is actually your eyes and ears and they're pointing things out to you will make your job that much easier. You also have an individual that's passionate enough about their work that they're willing to point out when things are not working well. As a business owner, I am grateful for that. I tell my staff every time, you're going to walk in here and you're going to see something that it's really obvious to you. I walk in here and I'm thinking of a thousand things. So when you see something, point it out. So when someone does point something out to you and you choose to take that in a positive way, ultimately everyone's gonna win. Whether you're the boss, you're the employee, or just your day-to-day -day interaction with your family. Now let's see it from a completely different angle. We're gonna take this as a negative. If someone points out something to you and you choose to take that as a negative, the ripple effect is gonna be significant. One, you're going to associate a negative thought with that person. Every time you see that person, you're gonna say, oh God, it's that person who's always pointing things out or always complaining. You're going to undervalue this person. You're not gonna see what they bring to the table as an asset. You're gonna see it as an inconvenience. The thing I have learned about having a negative reaction, whenever anyone points something out to you and you have an emotional reaction, a negative reaction towards it, that means whatever that person is pointing out is probably true. Think about it. You don't get upset about things that you know are facts. You only get upset when someone points something out and you know you can make it better, but for some reason you're not. That's when the agitation comes in. Another negative side effect to that is the person who's giving you the information may not feel compelled to share going forward if that's gonna be your reaction. This experience today was a good reminder that I always have a choice on how I take the information that's given at me. If I choose to take it in a positive way, I can definitely grow from that and I can enhance my skills and become better and also be appreciative of the people that are pointing things out to me. If I choose to take it in a negative way, I'm not gonna grow much from that. I'm gonna be defensive and I'm gonna find ways to justify that I am right. That's not gonna help me grow. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear your comments below. I wanna hear how you handle when people give you feedback. Maybe positive feedback, that's really easy to take. More importantly, how do you tackle negative feedback? Until next time, I hope you're enjoying your view.